guys, my line here. <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, I think I'm coming down with uh, either a cold or the flu, so I uh, I'll take these off because the glare is enormous. It's Friday night, and uh, I was home today, and I thought I'll finish uh, the pocket pattern that I started this week. I showed you earlier Wednesday. Um, I made the background myself. It's a mixed media pocket letter, and the theme is your favorite color. Well, I told you all that uh, I really like to work with orange and red. Uh, some pink in it looks great. Usually I add some black and white and some paint splashes and everything. But uh, I kept the black and white out of it this time. I added some bronze paint splatters. Um, on the cards I added a little bit of bronze sharpie dots because uh, the inside of the shaker pocket I made bronze added some bronze sequins and uh, glitter <coughs> so excuse me if I have to cough every now and then I, uh, I didn't want to but I didn't want to wait that long to show you this pocket letter. So let's start at the bottom, at the top, not the bottom, the top is better, right? I'm going to put these glasses back on. It makes it easier to show. I really like to start out with uh, Hello because, well, it's the beginning of the pocket letter, right? And, uh, I, you know. Oh my gosh, I got some licorice in my mouth, oops, sorry. Uh, I like to start with that and then in the back, as a goodie, I include usually a handmade envelope. I got some templates to do that, or templates, I don't really know how you guys pronounce that, but you know what I mean, right? So, that is in the back. You see, oops, there is the envelope and uh, as soon as I know who my partner is for this swap I'm gonna make a letter and put it in there so here I used some washi tape with little birds on a wire and this is some very thin washi tape by Tim Holtz I like it though it's different and uh, I didn't want to add too much color because there's all, all that yellow and orange going on. I used uh, a scallop circle. I punched out a book paper circle, added that on and I punched another star out. Or actually I used a Cricut for it again but I used that for a lot of things in this pocket letter added that on there and glued it on thought that was nice and then here I found a nice tag that I cut out added a little Brad pin, pin. it's a, a pin because it's uh, oh my gosh I cannot even talk straight here here you see it's attached on the back added a little stamp on there take time to create well that's something that we all like to do right and then in the middle row I started out with cutting a uh, doily in half glued it on and, and found some uh, cute stickers star stickers that I added on there and I just to keep it kind of flowing I like to do that on the other part too in the same row not too busy because there's so much going on always uh, let's see other side another tag make time to what today uh. 
No. Make something pretty today. That's what it says. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna think that I'm like stoned or something. I'm not. I'm just not feeling good. Here, I did the same thing again. I used a scallop and the paper, book paper and uh, a star and added that with the same washi. And here I cut out the word create. Oh, and this is um, another book paper circle. And these are some numbers that you have on uh, a bingo card. Someone made some of these for me and sent them to me. Um, she used her jelly plate to, oops, my goodies are falling out, a jelly plate to color the uh, car bingo card. I think she has a uh, die cutting machine, I'm not sure. Uh, probably by Sissix, I'm not sure what, what it was, but she sent me a whole bunch. So every now and then I use it to decorate a journal page or like now with a pocket letter. Comes in handy too. So in the back, I uh, added some goodies and these scallop circles. I added a couple of those in there. Most of them have some tags and the, the letter is coming in here and here I could put some more tags in. Some washi is always nice to have and here some more tags, stars in the middle and some of the bingo cards that the person that receives this might use on her projects. So that was it. I'm really pleased with the result. So uh, if you want to try it out, it's very simple. You can either use scrapbook paper so you have a decorated background too, or you just get a piece of cardstock. If you take uh, an 8.5 by 11 piece, uh, it's very easy to cut the whole sheet up and you have nine cards that you can put in the pockets. Actually, you can get 10 out of it. But, uh, well, that's it. I'll finish this, I'll edit some, I think, and then I'll upload load this tomorrow, because usually when I edit, it takes a lot of time. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope you all have a great night, or day, evening, wherever you are. And thanks uh, for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.